Hi there, once again welcome to Agitech. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an amazing looking letterhead using Microsoft Word. I'm going to teach you how to create everything step by step. So remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So this letterhead could be used for your official letters that you send out of your organization. So you don't need to have any photo editing software. In order to do this, I'm going to jump straight into action and do everything from scratch using Microsoft Word. So let's jump straight into action. So I'm going to open a blank new document. So I have a new blank, I have a blank document and we need to make sure that we are dealing with A4. Most of our printout is going to be on A4 paper. So I'll go to my layout from my tab menu and make sure that the size I'm using is A4. So I'm going to select A4 and I'm also going to change my margin. I'm going to do some adjustment to my margin. So I'll go to custom margins and then I'll reduce my margin to the top to 0 0.5, the left to 0 0.5 and then bottom and then the right also to 0 0.5. Okay, so I'm okay with this and then I have enough space around my margin to work with. So we want to first create let's just draw a rectangular shape and then we can put our logo and everything on that so what i'm going to do is to go to insert and then go to my shapes i'm going to pick my rectangle tool from here so i have the rectangular shape i'll select that just drag it across this way so remember this once you select this you'll be able to move it around we'll make sure it fits from right to left and the top is also fit so i'm going to go to my format make sure that I turn the make sure my shape so I'm gonna make sure my shape outline is what off so note what outline so this is what I'm going to have so this is the shape I'm going to work with so the next thing we want to do we want to add our logo to this page should so this letter we definitely need to have our logo on it so I'll just click and then go to insert and then go to pictures so I'm gonna select this image you can navigate to anywhere at all you have your logo on your PC and select that. I already have this on my desktop. I created a folder and have this, so I'll just select it and then I should have it appear on my document page. So notice if I try stretching this, I'll drag this down a bit, drag inside in order to reduce it. But this logo is going to go beneath the shape I created. In order to get this, I'll just go to wrap text. Remember, we had a format option, the wrap text over here, and then what? Click on in front of text so when i select this it will now move my logo in front of my shape so i'll just draw this and resize this logo nicely here so i now have my logo nicely placed the next thing i'm going to do is also write the heading so that will be the name of my organization so this is an ngo i need to change the background color because the other part of my logo is not appearing so i can select go to format and then also we have fill color that is where you can change the color of the shape you created the rectangular shape so i want to pick a color that will make my background appear a bit okay but i'm going to select this and then this is a bit okay and i'll click on this and i want a copy of this so once I select i select this i can go to the home tab copy and then i'll paste so when i paste this i'm going to have a, a copy of this i want to just give a different color to this so let's look at what we're going to do now go to format and then the fill color i'm going to change this to a different color okay so i select this color and i'll still go back to my former wrap text and then i'm going to move it below i'm going to move it okay so i'm going to move this behind my text and everything i have so i'm going to have something unique as you can see we can change this color a bit i want to pick something that will be deeper for you to see okay so I'm, I'm gonna go with this let's stick to this so the next thing is we want to put in the title of the letter here that meaning like the name of the organization so I'll go back to insert and I'll pick a text box so I'm going to select draw text box and I'm going to stretch this create this and I'll drag this across and I'll just type I'll put everything in as you take foundation Ayotech foundation and I'm going to resize this a bit. I'm going to increase the font size go to home and then I'll increase my font size to about 36 Okay, okay, I think 
28 is okay and I'll position this in the middle I'll change everything to white so I'll go back home and I'll come to my text option and then I'll change make sure I'm using white but you can't see anything but we need to first turn on with this text box let's go to format and then the fill color we're going to say no no fill color we are going to turn the if a uh, fill color off and then also we don't want any outline we don't want this box around it so we select this and then go to outline and say what well, no outline so we're going to get something as we have now i believe everything is taking shape so we need to at least put our dress there in order for people to be able to reach us so i can also go back and set pick on that text box and then i'm going to put that dress over there so i'll just draw another text box and say let me see p o box so i'm just going to put that there p o box 38 d d then i'll say what do do it. so you can put that dress over there we'll do the same thing by putting off the fill color no fill color and also what turning of the outline okay so this is what we have people can easily use this address we can equally make this one white as well home tab and then we change the text word white okay so i'm just going to copy this and paste Control c will copy and view will paste so i'm going to reposition this and i want this to be the contact so clicking on this i'll just say telephone and then you just go ahead and put the phone number of the organization down there so we just put a phone number of the organization okay so this is what we have this is a very simple letter and then i'll go ahead and then make some few changes i'll draw another text box and i can also put a date so i'll draw another text box down here and then i'll say ref maybe the reference to the letter you received you put it down here okay and then i'll go ahead and then at the far right i'm going to say date i'm going to put a date over there as simple as that so you want to have the date so you're going to have the date okay so we're also going to have the date but as you can see in the previous one i'll make sure my outline is off in order when i print it, i don't want to see any outline regarding what i'm doing so we have our letter head and if you have any additional information you, you want to add to this you can go ahead and do that but i want to add my website address and email but i want to put it at the bottom so i just come down as we started we put the rectangular shape we select the rectangular shape and then we can draw this down here okay we have the rectangular shape make sure that the fill color the outline is what no outline and i can equally do the duplicates by ctrl c v to paste and i can select the bottom one and change that color to a different thing so i can pick a different color this way okay let me just pick any color and i can move the ones just to have something like that so i can go ahead you notice we have the bottom side of our letterhead and i can go ahead and then pick a text box and draw a text box down here and i'm going to type in the email address so i'll say email is info at agiotech foundation dot org and i also want the website so the website will be www. The website will be www.agiotechfoundation.org. So this is what we need at the bottom. So I just would turn off. I'm going to turn on the fill color. Sorry, turn on the fill color and also no outline. And this we want it to be clear. We want people to see. So I'll select everything and change the color back to what white. So remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So what I'm going to do is to increase the font size a bit. So let's say about 14. Okay, let me increase my textbook size and everything to appear at the bottom. So we now have 
our bottom side and i think that is good if you don't want that align just select everything and then turn it off from here so i've turned off the underlining over here and then we have our email and our website address if you prefer to give the leading text that's addressed a different color you can equally do that you can select a color for that you can do that and select any adjustment you prefer you want to do you can just go ahead and then do that so this is a very simple way in which you can create a letterhead using weight so if you want to type in the main letter you can just go ahead or in the body and just start typing your letter and everything will work as simple as you can see in this tutorial so remember to subscribe and hit the like button so like come your way stay safe and share this video with friends who are interested in learning how to create an amazing looking letterhead for the organization